Hi everybody, got another Shelly delivery. Um, so did a review recently on the unboxing of my Shelly 1PM. I've now received this, which is the Shelly add-on uh, for the Shelly Plus um, devices. So it supports some on the box, it says. So this accessory is uh, compatible with the Shelly Plus 1, the 1PM, the 2PM, the i4 and the i4 DC. So I'm gonna be using it with this device. So this is basically is a, an accessory add-on that clips onto one of those other Shelly uh, devices and it will take the input either analog or digital uh, from either a DH22 or a DS18B20 um, uh, device. So that could be temperature and it, or it could be humidity. Um, I've ordered a DH22, so I'll have a look at that as soon as that comes. So again, I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing. Not too much information on the box this uh, this time, um, but it does show which devices it's compatible with. So before you order one of these, make sure you check um, that your Shelly device is compatible with their add-on. So once again, let's just measure the box. I'm assuming it's about the same, 62 mil by 62 mil by 23 mil i want to say let's just open that quickly just to see what we got as always shelly have got their little qr code they want you to join their facebook support group so you may want to do that and then inside you can see the sensor which is housed in this kind of foam protective sleeve uh, looks like there's some instructions in there as well let's just pop this out so very similar looking to the uh, the Shelly one, but obviously there's more inputs here. So you've got three channels on this long side and you've got two channels on this side. You've got an analog in and a digital in on that side. And then you've got uh, another three channels here, uh, which are digital channels. On the back, if you flip it over, this is the important part, you've got these if you can see that there's about seven pins there i think two four six seven yeah so these are the pins that will interface with the uh, shelly device so if i just if i just pop open my 1pm again and take that out if you remember on the back there there are those pins there and these pins will just clip into that so i'm not going to do that now because i just want to make sure I don't do anything wrong, but you can see those pins will just line up and then these plastic clips there will just snap down and hold that in place. So let's just have a quick look at the paperwork, get an idea of what's what. So again, multiple languages. This is the English one. So these pins on the back, the seven pins, there's a little list of what they are here. So you've got a VCC, which is the sensor power supply terminals. You've got a data pin, a ground pin, you've got an analog in, digital in, and then you've got VREF out and VREF plus R1 out. So we'll look at more of those in a future video. Then you've got the external sensor pin. So these are the ones that connect on the top here through these little screw terminals. Um, so you've got the VCC or VDD, so that's the sensor power supply, depending on which of the two uh, sensors that you're using. And it's also got the data pins uh, for communication and a ground pin. So this is not quite as thick as the, um, the Shelly one, I think. Let's just do a quick measurement. It should all be the same this way. So that's 35 millimeters. And then the width is 37 millimeters. And then the thickness, not including the pins, is just over 10 millimeters. So 10 and a half millimeters. So when these two things are gonna, when these two things combine, that's gonna be, uh, it's probably 20 odd mil uh, in thickness, uh, but still a fairly small device. As I said in the last video, I want to use this uh, accessory add-on with my Shelly 1PM to make a fan controller. So I switch a fan on uh, if uh, a cabinet that I want to put these in goes over a certain temperature or if we hit the dew point uh, I'll switch the fan on so that I can make sure there's no condensation within that cabinet. So that'll be a future 
project, I think, and then there's a scripting feature, I believe, uh, within these devices. So I can write a small script here uh, for the logic to control that. Anyway, that was just a quick unboxing. As soon as I get my temperature and a humidity sensor, I'll do another unboxing and then I'll start to pull all this together uh, for that particular project. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing or maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in future videos. Take care, everybody.